these two best selling single to double strollers could not be any more different. Today, we are comparing the Uppa Baby Vista V2 with the Bugaboo Donkey 5. Now let's dive in. I'm Melissa with Snugglebugs. I have reviewed dozens of strollers and car seats, and I love cataloging the different features that each brand brings to the market. Now, I do have a Bugaboo Donkey myself for my two little guys, but I love the features and functionality that are packed into the Vista. So let's dive in and take it from the top. Your Vista weighs in at 27 pounds, your donkey weighs in at 26.9 pounds. So very comparable weights there in terms of your stroller. Now the biggest difference between these two strollers is that your Vista is a tandem stroller. That means your seats in double mode are going to be stacked one on top of the other. Whereas with the donkey, your double mode is in side by side, meaning you're extending the width of your stroller frame out to accommodate a second seat. Now, these are major differences in a stroller. Do you want your kids to be stacked and have a more streamlined stroller width? Or do you want a larger width and have your children be able to maybe hold hands when you're strolling them around as I wanted with mine? Now the Uppa Baby Vista is coming with your stroller frame, your toddler seat, and a full separate bassinet. Whereas your Bugaboo is coming with your stroller frame, your seat frame, and then both a fabric set for a toddler seat and a pram seat. So what that means is initially, if you're using with a newborn, you're gonna use the outer ring of the seat frame to set up your pram. And then once your child has outgrown the bassinet and is ready to move into their toddler seat, you remove the pram fabric from the seat frame, put your toddler fabric on and you are ready to go in toddler mode. So just one of the key differences as to how the bassinet and the pram work with these strollers. Let's talk about the Vista bassinet for a second. This bassinet can go on your stroller with no adapters needed. It is rated safe for overnight sleep. So this bassinet you could bring into your home and use for overnights with your newborn when they're co-sleeping with you in their room, which is a great option. You also have a lot of great features built into this bassinet. You've got a really nice extendable canopy. You've got a nice mattress insert, an apron that helps to protect babe from the elements, and some nice ventilation panels built into the bottom to increase airflow. Now the main difference is that your Bugaboo Pram is not rated safe for overnight sleep. So what that means is, of course, while you're strolling about, your newborn can snooze in the pram with supervision, but it's not approved for unsupervised sleep. So if you are looking for an in-home bassinet option, your Uppa Baby might appeal to you more. That being said, I personally had a bassinet in our room already, so I wasn't reliant on our pram to fill that need. So with the Bugaboo Pram, I love that you get a really great canopy extension. You're also getting a bumper bar, a really nice apron over top. You're also getting these really nice vented panels in the back that you can open up to increase airflow to your babe while you're strolling about. Like the Uppa Baby Bassinet, your Donkey Pram can also be used on your stroller with no adapters needed. So let's quickly take a look at what it looks like when you swap out your toddler seat for your bassinet or pram on each of these strollers. So when you're taking your seat off with the donkey, you've got these two memory buttons at the side. Then you are going to pull your pram onto your frame. Plug it in and you are good to go. Then with your Uppa Baby Vista, you're going to, again, just remove your toddler seat from the frame, put your bassinet on top, and you are ready to stroll again. So as you can see with both strollers, you have such a beautiful option to use from birth with the included bassinet and pram. Now your other options to use these strollers from birth 
With your Vista, we most commonly see it paired with an Upa Baby Mesa series infant car seat. So that's your Mesa V2 or your Mesa Max. Those car seats can go on your stroller frame with no adapters needed. With the Bugaboo, we see it paired most commonly with the Klek Ling or Nuna Pippa infant car seats, and you would have to purchase those adapters separately. So now that we are magically back in toddler seat mode, let's take a look at the handlebars. Both of these have a really nice, comfortable leather covered handlebar. With the Bugaboo, you're gonna make your adjustment just by opening these two pegs at the side. And this is your minimum height for your handlebar. Whereas with our Vista, you can see our minimum height is quite a bit higher. Now, if we go to maximum height, you're looking at actually a very similar max height between these two strollers. So you've got a bit more range with your donkey, as you can see. Now let's talk a bit about onboard storage because you know we love to talk about baskets. So you can visually see a major difference right off the hop in that your donkey is coming with a side basket that can accommodate up to 22 pounds of additional storage. Now, the great thing about this basket is it's got this big zip pouch and you can actually extend the height of the basket to really get all your junk in there. <laughs> now, from a bottom basket standpoint, the donkey can accommodate 22 pounds in the bottom basket, but I will say the Vista does win in terms of bottom basket weight capacity. So you're looking at a 30 pound weight capacity down here. And overall, it's nice because you have a bit more structure in your basket. You've got some additional pockets, a really nice deep well here so you can very easily stash your diaper bags and all your goodies on the go. Now let's head back up and talk about seats. So with your seats, you're gonna use both of these toddler seats from around that six month plus mark as your child is getting a bit older. Both seats offer a really great recline capability. And as you can see, both seats do come with a bumper bar, which is really nice. And you've got your five point harness in the Bugaboo Donkey with a, it's a five point harness, but it's only got three connection points in the Vista. So sometimes that can make your loading in and out of toddler a little bit easier. Another feature that might not seem like a big deal until it is, is this really nice ability to open and close your bumper bars. My toddlers love having the independence of closing their bumper bar around them once they're settled into the stroller, but it's also really nice when you are bringing them in and out to not have that bar in the way. So the ability to open and close from either side is really great. The last point I'll make about the toddler seats while I'm up here is that you do have an adjustable footwell and calf support with your Vista seat, whereas your donkey seat is more of just a standard one setting footwell. Both of these strollers offer advanced all wheel suspension with nice big wheels that can be locked off in the front for when you are going for through sand, slush, snow, you name it, Canadian winters, we've all been there. With the Bugaboo Donkey, you are getting the Bugaboo Signature One-Touch Push, so the maneuverability on all Bugaboo strollers really is quite superior. It's just an amazing, easy one-touch push, so if you happen to get a text message while you're strolling about, you can usually multitask pretty well. Now, let's take a look at the canopies between these two strollers. Both Up a Baby and Bugaboo have really great canopy coverage. So we've got a zip down canopy with the Vista here. You've got a nice mesh ventilation panel, as well as an optional mesh ventilation panel in the hood here. On the donkey, you've got some great extension out of the gate with your canopy. You've got the additional zip out functionality for even further coverage with the fold over mesh ventilation panel. So let's compare these side by side. Which canopy do you like better? Let me know. Now I may have just sung the donkey some praises in the maneuverability category, but I have to say when it comes to fold, 
The Vista might be the winner here. So let's compare them both and you be the judge. So with your Vista, you're going to pull up on your canopy. You're gonna make sure that your handlebar is in the upper position. You're gonna lock your stroller wheels so that it doesn't roll away mid fold. You're gonna pull up on these levers on the handlebar, push down. You can fold over the footrest for an even more compact fold. You've got a really nice self-stand fold there and there you have it. Now with your donkey, you can fold with the seat down. I will show you it very quickly for the sake of brevity, but then let's do the fold in its more compact, realistic form, which is without the seat on. So I've pulled up my canopy and I'm going to just press these two buttons on the side of the frame and pull up. Then you're going to pull the footrest into you and you have a decent fold. Now let's quickly unfold, take the seat off and you'll see a much more realistic fold. With my donkey, we take the seats off 95% of the time when we fold the stroller. I just find it a lot easier to get it in and out of the vehicle that way. So to unfold, you're just gonna let her down, pull up on the frame and kind of pop it out. Then I'll take my basket off, my seat off, and we'll do that fold again. So we're doing these two levers on the side of the frame. And there you go. That is a lot easier to get in and out of your vehicle, in my humble opinion. So with your donkey, you're gonna do the same move where you're just pulling up on the frame. You kind of push the front wheels out while pulling back. And then the nice thing about both your donkey and Vista is that your toddler seats can either face the world as we have them set up here, or they can face parent. Now, the overall setup of this stroller to unfold is super simple and easy to do. Let's take a look at the Vista. It is a bit more of a one-step motion, so you're just going to open the latch on the side, pull up on your handlebar, and you're ready to rock. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's turn these babies into doubles. So with your Bugaboo Donkey, you're gonna purchase a duo extension kit to get that second toddler seat opportunity. With your Uppa Baby Vista, you will purchase a rumble seat, which comes with your rumble seat adapters to attach the seat to the front of the frame. So with your transition, super simple for both strollers. With the Donkey, you're going to open up these three snaps on the frame then you're going to press this button now you can remove the basket for easier access to this button on the frame but i do want to keep it on to show you that you can actually expand the width of the basket and use it when your stroller is in that double width so you're pressing this button pulling out on your frame then you're just going to snap your three lock offs on the frame into place as I mentioned, you can keep this basket on when you are in double wide mode. It gives you some extra storage space on board and is a really great option if you're taking your babe out for errands or to the store. Let's remove the basket though and pop on our toddler seat for now. So we're pull up there. We've got our second toddler seat. And now we are ready for two riders. I love the side-by-side -side setup of the donkey. It is so cute when my little babes hold hands and chat with each other and reach out over their canopies to have little conversations. Now let's look at the configuration for the Uppa Baby Vista. So your adapters are going to come with the purchase of your rumble seat. I will just attach them to the frame here. And now my adapters are on. I'm ready for my rumble seat to go on front. So take a look at this. This is two very different setups for your two toddlers. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the stacked look where your kids are a little bit separated or do you prefer the side-by-side -side option? Both great alternatives and it really does come down to what makes sense for your family. Now, if you are a family that is having twins, let me assure you that both of these strollers are a perfect choice. They both can accommodate either two prams, two bassinets, or two infant car seats each. 
They both also just have so many optional configurations. So you can do pram, toddler seat, toddler seat, infant car seat, pram, infant car seat, and same with the Vista. Now, one of the big differences is that with the donkey, both seats can accommodate a rider up to 50 pounds. Whereas with the Vista, you are getting a 50 pound weight capacity in the toddler seat and 35 pounds in the rumble seat. So just some considerations there. Let's take a look at our configuration of the Bugaboo donkey with a toddler seat and an infant car seat, which is a super popular configuration that we see. Now let's take a look at the Uppa Baby Vista with our infant car seat and rumble seat. If you want to use your Vista with your pram and a toddler seat or rumble seat, you actually have to have the pram in the lower position and use your toddler seat on top. In order to achieve that configuration and some of the other amazing configurations that allow you to customize your Vista to your desire, you will need to purchase upper and or lower adapters. So something to keep in mind as you are figuring out the perfect configurations for your family. So now let's get into fold in double mode. I mean, I'll just be off the hop. Your Vista is gonna win. With your donkey, you're gonna need to take your seats off in order to get the most compact fold. That being said, I unfolded and put this in my vehicle over 200 times with my kids. And it's very easy to do, don't let it alarm you. So you're just gonna pull back your canopies, press on your memory buttons here, take your other toddler seat off, and then you can either fold your frame in this extended format, or you can condense it into the single rider format that we had earlier if you're looking for an even more compact fold. So for the sake of today, let's go as compact as possible. We'll fold, take our three snaps on our frame. Then we are going to pull up these buttons on the handlebar, pack our wheels in. We're folded and ready to go. Now with the Vista, you're going to pull up your canopies. You're gonna tuck in your footwell on the toddler seat and on the rumble seat. Then you are going to park your brake. Make sure that your handlebar is in the upright position. Pull on these levers on the handlebar and you have a really nice compact fold with two seats on. So I mean, these are very different folds. But at the same time, it really depends on what you're looking for. Is a compact fold with both seats on a priority for you? Now let's get into the unfold. So your Vista again has a super easy unfold. You're just gonna open your lock off on the side, pull up on your handlebar, and you are ready to stroll again. With your donkey, you've got another super easy unfold. So you're just gonna pull up on your frame. I like to Fling the wheels out a little bit. We're gonna need to get back into double mode. So I will reopen the edges of the frame. We will put our toddler seats back on. And again, we are ready for our next adventure in double mode with both strollers. So realistically, while one was slightly more complicated, both were pretty easy at the end of the day. And one thing I will mention for those wondering, yes, the donkey can fit through any standard doorway in North America. I used to bring mine in and out of daycare all the time. So it's definitely no issue to get through a doorway when you're in double mode with this stroller. So there you have it. The Bugaboo Donkey 5 versus the Uppa Baby Vista V2. People are so divided about what camp they fall in in terms of stroller preference. Let us know where you fall. We love to hear from you. And don't forget, if you are still in your research journey, we have a best single to double strollers of 2024 video that compares these two bad boys and even more top selling single to double strollers in the category uploaded on our YouTube channel. We also have a best 
single strollers of 2024 YouTube video that if you're considering maybe just going with a single stroller, meaning it doesn't have the option to convert to a double, then that video could be for you as well. We hope that this video has helped to instill confidence in your parenthood journey by making your stroller selection that much easier for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and we will catch you in the next video.